Hey there again. Hopefully now that 13 show is over, there won't be any more fuck-ups. Yeah, right. Well, on this week's show, we're going to try to include some comedy. But we're also going to show you a guitar filled with cocaine. But more music coming, of course, with Pass the Duchy, a completely classic stoner tune. And we're going to check out some more stoner scenes from marijuana fied movies. Uh, that's films that are, yep, that's films that are no, in no way stoner movies at all. Okay. And some more celebrities on weed too, of course. Plus lots more coming right up, most likely. Uh, yeah. No. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you very much. Are you ready for a guitar filled with cocaine? Every, everybody got their straws? Or McDonald's coffee spoons? Remember those, Daryl? No. The old ones we used to do uh, coke through. Anyway, no. cocaine addiction isn't funny, but not everyone gets addicted to it. And we joke about it because we know there aren't any junkies watching this show. Sorry, junkies, but you're a whole different lifestyle. Uh, but they still don't deserve to be treated like shit, though, of course. Anyway, check this out. It's a, a Stratocaster clone worth well over $1 million. Uh, maybe it was Hendrix's guitar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding again. Uh, I tend to do that once in a while. Anyway, again... Man, I say that a lot. Do I go off track a bit here or there, or what? Maybe I'm driving that train... I on cocaine. Yes, Casey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enough coke jokes, actually. Yes, you're right. Uh, the guitar was on the flight from Costa Rica to Rome, and the mall cops, uh, I mean airport security, accidentally noticed a bit of powdery residue poking out of a spot on the guitar. And they missed the bomb in the next set of luggage, of course, but found the drugs. Oh, and uh, the guy also had ten thermos flasks full of, uh, full of it in his uh, luggage as well. Yeah. Grand total was apparently $5.12 million. Yeah. And when I got popped with hash as a teenager, I had enough to get an army eye. You know, on a three-quarter ounce of hash? A uh, million bucks. Yes. Must have been a dweeb army or something when I... <laughs> anyway. Cops never inflate their estimates of how much drugs are worth, eh? It's part of their brainwashing technique, actually. Now... Of course, we don't condone cocaine or hard drug use, really, but at the same time, not everyone becomes an addict. Same with some hard drugs like acid, shrooms, coke, bennies, you know, if anyone remembers those, and uh, so forth, of course. Crack, meth, heroin, and that sort are obviously way too strong to be controlled by just about any user. Yes. So these people need help, though, not jail time. Okay? Sure, the governments do help some junkies, okay? But most still end up rotting in jail. Okay? I'm gonna stop preaching now. Time for some audio comedy, I think. <laughs> you just think so, eh? <laughs> hey! Open up. Dave? Yeah, Dave, come on, man, open up. I think the cops are Dave's coming. not here! Okay, this week we got another parody for you. It's called A Joint Full of Cannabis, which is a spoonful of sugar parody. You think it's Kirk, Mark, and Lopez? But I'm not staking my life on it or anything. No, Julie? Uh, well, and of course, Spoonful of Sugar is a song from The Sound of Music, which Julie Andrews sings in the original. Thank you. So check it out. Just a joint full of cannabis helps the medicine go down, makes me feel good right away. Now every time that I am sick, a big fat doobie does the trick. I find my bong and suck it till I'm well. 
Proposition 215 Makes smoking a reefer really keen Some hash, some weed Is all I really need Yeah, tell me about it Hey, I'd watch the sound of marijuana Not my style of music But it makes a great parody anyway uh, Now on to the next segment, Kimosabi Okay, it's time for some celebrities on weed again. What we've got here is failure to communicate. All the celebrities just keep coming and coming and coming. Uh, oh yeah, apparently Italian politicians keep coming and coming too. Here, Silvio Berlusconi admits that he has to sleep with so many women because his dick is so small. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I don't give a fuck what politicians do in their off hours, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. It's what they do when they're on duty that really pisses me off the most. Obviously not going to hurt anybody. Yes. Okay, I'm ranting again. So this week our celebrity is another politician, El Presidente Barack Obama. He said, and I quote, When I was a kid, I inhaled frequently. That was the point. Fucking right it is. Uh, but wait, he also said, The, the, battle, uh, the war on drugs has been an utter failure, uh, and I think that we need to rethink and decriminalize uh, our, uh, our marijuana laws. But I'm not somebody, uh, but I'm not somebody who believes in uh, legalization of marijuana. What I do believe is, is that we need to rethink how we are operating uh, in, in the drug wars, and I think that uh, currently uh, we are not doing a good job. No shit, Sherlock. He still doesn't believe in legalizing it, of course. And why not? Because unfortunately he has to play the political game as much as the other politicians. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the other uh, asshole politicians start treating the good ones like shit if they don't play along. And there's a hell of a lot more asshole ones that have no problem stealing money and abusing power. Officially. Obama definitely seems to have a good head on his shoulders and seems to be trying. But the po political abuse still has to be stopped worldwide. To say there is corruption in politics is like saying there is water in the ocean. <laughs> We're a long way from Tipperary, my friends. A long, way a long fucking way. It's a long way. 